Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station Update Hour. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside of the Space Station Flight Control Room where Flight Director Judd Freeling is leading the team today with help from uh, Capcom Anna Fisher. Things are back to normal today on board the space station with the three members of the Expedition 34 crew. They are more than halfway through their day and currently orbiting 256 miles above the South Pacific off the coast of Australia and New Zealand. They are Commander Kevin Ford and Flight, Engin flight Engineer Tom Marshburn of NASA, Russian Flight Engineers Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Turelkin and Roman Romaninko, and Canadian Space Agency Flight Engineer Chris Hadfield. Ford, Novitsky, and Terelkin have been at the space station since October when their Soyuz TMA-06M vehicle docked with the Russian Poisk module. Now, they're now working on their 119th day at the space station and their 121st day in space. And they were joined in December by Marsh, Burn, Hadfield, and Romaninko, who docked their Soyuz TMA-07M to the station's Rosvet module on December 21st. That group is on their 64th day in space and their 67th. 62nd at the space station. When we wrapped up on Tuesday, the station had been experiencing communication issues for about two hours due to a glitch in the software update that the crew had been installing with the ground's help. After the team here in Mission Control got another chance to talk with the crew as they passed over Russian ground stations, they were able to walk them through the final steps needed to fix the issue and normal communication normal communications were re-established at 11.34 a.m. Central Time. The ground is picking back up with the software update today. Other activities on the crew's agenda for today include a range of science, maintenance, and prep work. On the science end of the spectrum, Commander Kevin Ford is working again today with the InSpace 3 experiment, which looks at how magnetic fluids are influenced by, magne by magnetic fields. In space has been a recurring theme in the past couple of space station expeditions, but today's marked the final run for Expedition 34, and Ford had some word of thanks to offer down to the team on the ground who's been supporting it. Station from Destiny for in space. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Well, I'm not sure uh, exactly when you guys started this. Uh, Sunny was doing this experiment when I got up here, and uh, she gave me a good handover on it. And I've done a lot of them since I've been here, and Chris has done uh, some of them as well. So at least I know Expedition 33 and 34 have uh, been part of in space. Um, I'm going to tell you what it stands for. It stands for Investigating the Structure of Paramagnetic Aggregates from Colloidal emission Emulsions. And uh, we had some good training on this before we flew, and that's got uh, some really interesting uh, things about it. But uh, the bottom line is there are a lot of terrestrial applications uh, and suppressing vibrations and stuff like that and uh, doing uh, things with shock absorbers and doing things with seism seismic uh, dampers. Uh, it can be used uh, to make improvements like an airplane landing gear and uh, robotic devices. has a has unfathomable uh, applications on the planet. And uh, I know this was a bunch of good data, and I'm uh, proud to be a part of it. 34 is proud to be a part of it. And thank you guys for letting us uh, do the work on board. And I can't wait to see what the uh, the future holds for for this study and further studies. Wow, I think almost everyone down here in the room is in tears. That was amazing, Kevin. Thank you for all that you have done and Chris has done and all the crew members before you. I know and this is the third round of In Space, and every time you guys do anything for them, they just get more and more science and better data and are extremely thankful for all the hard work that you guys put in for us. Okay, well, like I said, it, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure training it before flight. I remember standing uh, up in the SSTF uh, practicing uh, with the the magnet and uh, everything we practiced down there, we used up here. So it, uh, it was a pleasure. Congratulations to you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you on the ground. Excellent. Thank you very much, Kevin. We'll see you when you come back. 
That again was Commander Kevin Ford talking with Chrissy Stinson at the Payload Operations Control Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. That was earlier this morning after uh, Ford completed the final session of the InSpace 3 experiment. In addition to InSpace, flight engineer Tom Marshburn was working today with the Circadian Rhythms experiment, which looks at how astronauts are affected by living on the space station outside of the regular day-night cycle that we're used to here on Earth. And most of the crew members were also either preparing for the arrival of the SpaceX Dragon next week by prepacking items that will return to Earth on it or practicing for its robotic arm-assisted berthing to the Harmony module, or they were packing or unpacking a progress on the Russian side of the space station. And to round off the day's list of activities, Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn were each involved in maintenance work. Hadfield was replacing a rotator belt exchange on the station's biological experiment laboratory in the Columbus module, and Marshburn was replacing the common cabin air assembly on the Destiny Laboratory temperature and humidity control equipment. That's what's been going on in space this week, and this is Mission Control Houston.